Good morning, everybody. Thank you for attending, and I'd like to thank VMware for hosting me in today. My name is Doug Fisher. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of the System Software Division. And that's right, I did say software at Intel. We have a large organization of software competency, and I uh, manage a quite uh, extensive group that participates heavily in virtualization and am responsible uh, for virtualization at Intel. That's why I'm here to talk to you about what Intel's role is. I'm going to talk to you a bit about the industry trends, where we see virtualization going, our role in that, what we're doing to deliver the right platform, and then we're going to give you a sneak preview of some breakthrough technologies that we're working on uh, with VMware. So from an enterprise perspective, the server elements are absolutely critical. But I also mentioned that client capabilities are evolving, and, and that's the next really frontier that we expect to see evolve in virtualization. As a, the number of clients continues to evolve, the approach and the usage models continue to evolve, we expect client virtualization to be absolutely critical in enterprise environments. And so to help explain what we're doing together from a VMware and Intel perspective in the client space, I'd like to bring up Joshua Gold... Uh, Joshua, that's my son, I keep doing that. Jocelyn Goldfein to explain to us what's going on between Intel and VMware around the client side. Welcome, Jocelyn. So Jocelyn is the vice president in VMware responsible for a desktop business unit, and we've been working very closely together. Why don't we talk about what's going on in the next frontier? Sure. You know, Intel and VMware have been collaborating together for a long time, and I think it's fair to say that between our two companies, we've really transformed the face of the data center, and I believe in front of us we have an opportunity to transform the client just as significantly. That's right. So why don't you explain to us what some of the things we've been doing? Sure. Okay. Let me uh, click forward. So, Many people don't know, VMware's actually been involved in the client space from our inception. Our very first product was a desktop product, VMware Workstation 1.0. We shipped it in 1999. And over the years, our client strategy has evolved into a, a bit of a two-pronged approach. We've had a set of products which offer really rich, faithful, local client interactive virtualization in products like Workstation, Ace, and Fusion. And then we've had a set of a set of products aimed at enterprise security and centralized management with the VMware View product line, which offers virtual desktops hosted in the data center. And we really think that the next frontier, kind of the killer app, is to actually bring these two, these two prongs together into one strategy, one product we call CVP. Okay, you call it CVP. What exactly is CVP? Can you give us a little more detail on what we're doing there? Sure. CVP is a client resident hypervisor it installs on a vPro-rich client, and it's compatible with all other VMware virtualization runtimes. So you can take that centrally managed desktop VM from a VMware view environment, synchronize it down to a vPro-rich client that's equipped with CDP, and now an end user is equipped with a distributed computing model, distributed computing environment, that still delivers the benefits of central management and security for IT. So who do you see using this, and what kind of problems are you trying to solve with this type of product? Oh, I think probably applicable to just a, just a couple people, any, any enterprise that wants efficiency and control for IT and also flexibility for users. That's, that, that's a few companies, right? Yeah. We, can, we can find some customers for that. So I, fundamentally, we're trying to solve an age-old struggle. The industry today is trapped in a tug of war between end users and IT. The diversity of the end user computing environment has never been broader. Users want more OSs than they've ever wanted before. They want rich Windows productivity applications to Java apps, to Web 2.0 applications, social networking. They want access to their work environment from their home machine. They want access to their personal applications and data on their work device. And users have never been more mobile from road warriors to hot deskers to work from home, seasonal workforce, contract, outsource, offshore, you name it. Users are everywhere, and it's their productivity that's driving the business. And yet, at the same time, IT has never been under more pressure. With user demand skyrocketing, IT also faces increased scrutiny on data security, a regulatory compliance environment more significant than we've ever had before, and last, but certainly not least, squeezed budgets and the pressure to do more with less. 
So fundamentally, their interests are at odds. IT needs standardization and control. Users need flexibility and freedom. And there's no way out from here. Fundamentally, this logjam is stuck unless we change the paradigm. And that's where Intel and VMware come in. With the products like CVP and vPro, we can really deliver the best of both worlds. We can provide efficiency and control for IT while simultaneously delivering flexibility for end users. So you have a broad set of product offerings. Yeah. CVP is your newest uh, offering. Where do you see this fitting in your product line and the value it brings for the customer? Yeah, good question. So the value that virtualization brings to desktop fundamentally is that it decouples the management of the device from the management of the image. What we want IT admins to be able to do is to dynamically compose the right desktop image for a user and deliver it to them wherever and however they need it, as appropriate for that user. So for some task workers or for some users who have a fixed network connection, the right architecture to deliver that VM may be a central server-hosted architecture with a thin client. But if you have users who need the full power, the full local capabilities of a rich client, or if you have users who suffer from intermittent or unpredictable networks, such as the network we find here at Moscone Center, um, or the ultimate unpredictable or predictably unpredictable network, none at all on an airplane, that's an end user who's got to have a local computing story. And so that's a case where we would deploy CVP to that vPro endpoint, and what that view in IT admin is going to be able to do is take that dynamic desktop image he's created, synchronize it down to that endpoint. If the user's, now the user can compute just as they would normally with a native environment. If they're offline, they're offline. But when they're connected, the synchronization trickles back and forth so that users' updates are captured in the, in the data center and managed centrally. And as IT pushes management changes, updates, settings, configuration, those get pushed down to the, to the endpoint. So to, collectively, you're able to get the best of both worlds. You're able to get manageability, security, standardization for IT, and the freedom of distributed computing for an end user. So clearly we've worked very closely together on building this capability. Yeah. One of the things you brought up multiple times is the value that uh, vPro brings yeah. to this solution. Can you Definitely. talk a bit about what that... Sure. So the key here is the whole point of this solution is to decrease management headaches for IT. And so in this architecture, it's absolutely critical that that client endpoint with CVP be as low cost to manage, low headache as possible. Otherwise, we've doubled IT's problems. We've, now we've given them two things to manage, the VM and the endpoint. So that CVP thing has got to be as hands-free as possible. So we started to look at vPro, and what we saw was between AMT and TXT, we've got an out-of-band management story and a security framework that gives us data protection and hypervisor attestation. And so collectively, we take that CVP, that rich client endpoint, to the back of IT's list of worries. And so really, it's a better solution. So working closely together has mm -hmm. really benefited, of course, our relationship and the capabilities we deliver. Can you talk about how that benefits the end user? Sure. So CVP should really be thought of as a collaboration between Intel and VMware that we're bringing to market together. That's allowed us to accelerate our time to market. With the help of Intel and vPro, we've been able to get great power efficiency, terrific performance, and, of course, the manageability and security features. So collectively, it's a better solution coming to market sooner. Another wrinkle, what our customers tell us, is that they really appreciate knowing that they can, with confidence, buy solutions from Intel and leverage those vPro benefits today, buy solutions from VMware, leverage Vue's benefits today, and know that they're going to be able to leverage both sets of investments together in the future once CVP ships. Okay, so you got this great capability called CVP deployed on a vPro platform. So what's next? What do, you, what do, you, what do we do next? Well, if, uh, if we've piqued your interest in CVP, there's a number of things you can do about it. For one thing, you can see CVP in action here at the show in the Solutions Exchange. We're actually demoing CVP in Intel's booth, in VMware's booth, and uh, I think you can... Also catch it one more place. Dell's booth. Dell's I think booth Dell is well. actually doing a great job of uh, demonstrating this capability in their booth as well. Yeah, so, we, uh, so lots of places to check out the technology. If that interests you, there are a number of things you can do to prepare and get involved before CVP ships. First of all, you can bring VMware View in-house today, assess your user populations, determine the ones where the, that architecture works now, start to b apply View, build those Li that library of desktop images, build the business processes and policies 
to get that centralized management story. And all of those will work seamlessly with Vue with CVP once it ships. And likewise, as you start to refresh your rich client fleet, it's a good idea to be refreshing with vPro so that you're not buying hardware today that's obsolete tomorrow. In the short term, take advantage of all the great vPro benefits. And then as CVP ships, you're going to be able to fully leverage the new hardware that you've bought, the new virtualization system that you've put in together. Great. Well, this is another example of our collaboration and working together, yeah. not only as a company is delivering better value, but in combination, delivering better value to the end users. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Thank right. you very Thank much, Thank you Doug. very much, Jocelyn. Thank you.